Hey guys, Flo here bringing you the second episode of this uh, West Ham career mode. If you're wondering why my uh, voice is so low, it's because I've just woken up and uh, I didn't even have my cereal. Got straight into commentating this. Coming back to this career mode, I enjoy playing with West Ham. It's uh, it's nothing I'm, I'm I'm used to. You guys know I used to play with the with those teams that were fighting for the fourth position. A bit difficult with West Ham, but I love it. Looking uh, at some uh, news here, Marshall moving to Manchester United, Kirikesh to Napoli and the Bologna to City. These are of course transfers that were made in real life, but seeing how uh, I've shot the transfer window, it makes sense to feature some of these in the moment of the career mode. We're going to move on to the first match of the Premier League, which is... Uh, away Arsenal and uh, it's gonna be difficult but uh, let's see how we do I would be lying if I'm if I say I wouldn't be happy with a draw uh, I want to push for the for the win but uh, you never know be knowing how I'm not yet good at the game uh, with uh, the fact that Arsenal is Arsenal uh, this uh, this could be difficult, but we get the first chance here with Zarate, but Czech with a very, very good stop. I thought I'd score there. Zarate did everything but uh, but score. And the Bushi here with a mistake, Sako. Let's see if Sako can score this one. He wins a place into my first team. He doesn't, so he's gonna stay on the bench because Valencia's back. Ramsey now. Ramsey passing the ball there for Wilshire. This doesn't look good for us. Adrian uh, saving. Adrian is one of my best players. He he did pull off quite a few saves in the preseason as well. Zarate didn't really know what to do with the ball here, but uh, we find Paya here, and uh, shockingly, for some one nil for West Ham. Okay, get angry at the camera for no reason Zerate here passing the boy passing the ball passing the boy what the hell passing the ball to uh, to Paye and it's 1-0 uh, another save by Adrian in the first half this guy's on fire well back now yet again let's see what he does 1-2 with uh, Alexis Sanchez and this is shit I'm not even gonna. Uh, I'm not even gonna blame Adrian. I'm gonna blame the the game for it. Why why would you stop and throw yourself on the ground like that? I'm not I'm not saying saving it, but at least put a bit of effort of uh, on saving the goal. Oof, check here again saving. I would have been happier if. Uh, I would have uh, gone in. I would have forgotten the Cazola goal, but I can't. But it's still 1 1. And now another shot. I think it was yet Cazola, but Adrian is saving this one. Adrian is my captain. I don't know if I stated this in the last episode. I don't know why I just felt like changing the captain because uh, West Ham has a new manager in me. And it finishes then nil. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. They had quite a few chances, but. Moving on to the second game of the episode, we're gonna have Leicester City away. I am hoping of winning this game. I know Leicester City is doing pretty well in real life, but in the game, they're now one of the best teams of the league. So, uh, three points uh, would be a must. Uh, seeing how we also play at home, Schneiderlin picked up a seven week injury after he broke his ankle. As nasty, not as nasty as uh, what Sean. Uh, has in real life but uh, it's always it's always sad to see players get injured like that Inla is gonna make uh, his debut against us maybe and uh, Lamela is quite on on form that's what the news say so uh, yeah the first game at home against Leicester City in the Premier League hopefully we we get the fans what uh, what they're waiting for of course we are coming after that 1-1 uh, draw against Arsenal which which was a decent result now that I look back on it 
If I can get a win here, this would be a dream start for West Ham in the Premier League. But unfortunately, Simpson is at the ball, so that means Leicester will have the first chance. Adrian with an easy save overall. It remains one. It remains nil nil. And uh, yeah, we get a ball here. A mistake by the Empire. And Schmeichel with a very good save, very good chance by us, but Sako didn't manage to score the goal. Bo boxing Schmeichel there. Let's see what Chriswell does with the ball. He passes it to Zarate with the cross. Yerge punched and Song with the volley. Not good enough to beat Schmeichel, unfortunately. They will get the chance here. No, Jenkinson pulling the ball to Paye. <laughs> what the hell was that? But that was a very good shot by Song. Paye trying the roulette there, didn't work. But Song with a very good shot, unlucky there. We had most of the chances, but Dyer here for Leicester passing the ball. Adrian does well to stay on his feet and not dive before uh, the shot arrived. It remains nil nil, and right before half time, we get another chance here from Antonio rolling the ball and with a header what a save by Schmeichel there we should have been in front by now right before the half time Payet let's see Zarate here come on Zarate finally not the best of goals but he went in 1-0 I'll take it this Payet Zarate connection is uh, is linking up quite nicely we can remember Zarate passing to Paye in the first uh, episode in the first uh, match against Arsenal Okazaki now in the his debut scoring but fortunately for us it was an offside yeah it was an offside don't, don't try and pull this off it wasn't really but Okazaki now passing for Kramaric Come on, how could you let that goal pass to you? I've seen FIFA 16 doing that quite a few times now. The angle is so tight but the goalkeeper for whatever reason doesn't do shit about it. But it's 1-1. 65 minutes in, Crespel here, passing the ball for Moses. Yes Moses, caught inside. Passing the ball, Paye, right at Schmeichel. Chance now. Oof, that was very close by Okazaki, and uh, I believe this is it. Last moments of the game. Yep. One-one, the second draw of the season and of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and all that crap. I will see you next time.